here's something probably a little bit different. Um, one of the carpets that we bred last year. Yeah, it's one of the whole bags which I'm going to keep, not just whole bag, because it's a little bit pretty. I did go through a, a stage of um, chasing up and trying to breed lines in stripes in carpets. And I got up to about 18 or 20 of them. I got the shits with having too many animals, so I sold just about everything. But I've kept one of the really top shelf ones, and the mother itself is top shelf. And this morning, as we we're all coming back home, ready to clean all the animals, which we're about to start doing now, <coughs> Brooke said, Look, you know, we're nearly ready to put that little carpet in with its mum. I said, Well, we don't even know what sex it is. So I'm about to teach her how to sex a snake. And I may as well show you guys all the same time. The only problem is, this snake is makes Hannibal Lecter look like a friggin' fairy. It wants to eat my brains. Mm -hmm. Come on, fatty. Come on. It's got a lot of hard spaces in here. Get away from me. So I'm bound to lose a fair chunk of blood doing this shit. Come on. Come on. It's eating like a trooper, and this time next year it should be right, to, if it's a male, to put in with its mum. If it's a female, well then, bad luck. Alright. I'm about to lose the cable. It's wrapping me, not in a anger, it's wrapping me in a food response. So I'm worried that the bite I get will be a grab and hang on, then I'll squeal like a little chicken. Here's the best way to do this. And what we're going to do is usually it's a two person job to do it carefully without hurting the animal. You now you can see this animal's not happy with being touched, much less me freaking around with its ass. So I'm bound to lose blood. It's roping me even tighter. Now, what we do, I use Vaseline, you can use KY, you can use any of your lubes or anything you choose to something that's slide into the snake's bum easily. Now, um, the way it works is a male snake has two hemipenes. Imagine how much trouble they'll get into us humans getting into heaps of shit with just one. Now their hemipenes, their doodles, are inverted all inside the tail. And once they get aroused, the blood fills it up and it pops outside the tail. And they've got little hooks and stuff that clicks, you know, locks into the female. Now, you think I'll put a tube or something over its head. Do we have a pillow slip a pillow slip handy? And then I'll put its head in a pillow slip and shut it up because I'm going to lose too much blood here. <coughs> Stop it being an ass. Anyway, what happens if it's a female, you insert this probe here inside its tail and you hit a dead end very quickly, usually within two or three scales. You feel it's a bit of a, a resistance. You don't put too much pressure, otherwise you, you damage the female. And with the male, the hemipenes are inverted like an, a glove that's turned inside out or a sock that's turned inside out inside its tail. And as you slide it down inside the tail, you go about eight scales deep easily. A nice clean one, fresh one. Sorry, what's this one? Alright, this is a much safer way to do this. So what we'll do is I'll hold its tail like this and, and the bag. Let that go, it doesn't matter if it chews and carries on. And you've got to hold the snake upside down. See the tail there, already looking at it. I'll put money on it, it's a female, because the female's got a long tail. And then you bend the tail back a little bit. You can see it's bum hole there, or cloaca in, in technical terms. And you then slide the probe down. So I'll do it first, you hold the tail. And then after that, you can have a crack at the title. You've just got to keep it upside down. Now this is all nice looped up. You don't go in up towards the bum. You just go under that scale there, bring it up a bit closer so everyone can see. Under that scale, you flip it over and slide. Bang, straight away. Resistance. So it's a female will try on the other side. Hang on. Hang on. Went down about four scales in that side. You can really easily make mistakes when they're young. Yeah, no, it's a female. If it was a male, it would go about that deep inside the tail from in other words, about that deep. The female, it only went to about that deep. You don't put too much pressure. Now you have it go at it, hold the tail back, and you feel it yourself. Usually you bend it back a bit so you don't have to get, make it too hard. And the hemipenes are either side of the hole, so you put it in the hole first a little bit. Yeah, flip it over. And now slot, yeah, you had the right idea there. You slipped. Yeah, yeah. And then go in, that's it. Tunk, feel the resistance. Stop, yeah. don't put too much pressure. And it's a female, that's how you know. And you so go to the other side. It's the same. It's the same, that's a chick. Yeah. 
So he won't be putting it in with his mum. Have a mail for it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. He, Brooke's got the brother to it. But the, see how this has got really, really, really heavy, neat stripes? That's the objective to try and get, because the mum's the same. Try and get really full on stripes. And Brooke's got the brother to it. But it's uh, not quite as striped, but obviously it'll work out. Anyway, let's put it away before I lose any blood.